people who break your heart? I, I, uh, the way in which we, both conservatives and liberals, everybody, evangelicals, mainliners, oldliners, sideliners, offliners, soon to be flatliners, um, are losing focus on Christ. Um, we got everything else. We got principles, propositions of the right. We got principles, propositions of the left. And um, Jesus is missing. And I'm missing Jesus uh, in our church. Um, this is a culture that you expect to miss Jesus in the culture, but you don't expect not to have Jesus lifted up in the church. And we're about everything else. We're about justice, we're about uh, causes, we're about these biblical principles. We've become about everything other than, other than Christ. And I, it, it all came to a head to me, and I'm not gonna name who this person was, but we were on a panel together. And I'm talking about what, you know, this focus that's gotta be on this lifting up Christ. You said, if I be lifted up, I will draw. We were trying to do the, we're drawing boards, trying to drop this strategy, drop that strategy. He's the draw. We'd lift him up and he does the drawing. Not me. Um, he's the draw. So it's not come to church, it's come to Christ. I'm, I'm trying to focus on this. And, and he goes, well, for me, it's come to the Bible. And I'm going, well, but, but the Bible points us to Christ. And he goes, well, you know, but for me, it's all about the church is not saying come to the Bible. And um, finally I said, you know, I think there's some people that think eternity is going to be like this million year, first million years are going to spend doing a Bible study. And he looked, and, and you'd know this name, so I'm not telling you. Well, I fully expect the first 50,000 to 100,000 years to be doing a Bible study. Absolutely. So I can get right what I didn't get right here. I'm going, but you got Jesus. You got Jesus. To understand heaven is a Bible study when you have Jesus. And I, I resisted. I mean, I so wanted John 5, where Jesus himself is talking about the Pharisees going, you think that by the scriptures you have life, but the scriptures point to me. I'm quoting here now, church. I'm quoting Jesus. The scriptures point to me. It is from me that you have life. And there's nothing more breaks my heart than that. In Him is life. He is the bread of life. And uh, we feast on Him in our hearts in Thanksgiving. Um, the Bible points to Him. I, I marinate my mind and soak my spirit in the Word every day, but it points me to Him, to that life in Him. What gives you hope? That God will not be without a witness. And I'm not optimistic, but I am hopeful. And that Jesus is found in this future. He's not so much pushing me from behind and us. He's pulling us from the future towards him. And if we, the church, decide to have our own mission other than God's mission, God will still be there. God will raise up pagan Persian King Cyruses, use prostitutes like Rahab, use all sorts of surprising people, um, because God will be there. And I want to be there where God is. And I challenge you uh, around those two words, be there. Put on the character of Christ and live the context of your culture.